Hello, this is Brother Victor Morales. I wanted to say something today in regards to living a life in accordance to a child of God. Not a Christian, because today Christian means something completely different than it did when the word was first used in Antioch. Christian used to be someone who lives for God. Today, Christians live for their flesh, and they glorify their flesh. And everything that they think, say, and do. Today, Christians have replaced the God of the Bible into a God created out of their own lusts and desires. So that they can live their sinful lives and not have to worry about the God of glory convicting them. These new versions of the Bible, this is what they accomplish. They allow someone not to be convicted of their sins. Because the true Word of God, the King James Bible, the only Holy Bible, that Bible convicts people of their sins. That Bible allows you to see a small idea of what God's holy and righteous character is about and what He commands from His children. There are many scriptures that say we must live righteous lives. We must show ourselves worthy. That we may be approved unto God. We must study the Word of God. The scripture tells us that if we keep what we have learned from the beginning, in us, then we will be children of God. We are begotten again by the word of God, not by the word of man, who take out the resurrection, the ascension, of Jesus Christ, not those people who give the name of Jesus Christ, the bright and morning star, to Satan. By three witnesses, let every word be established. Witness one, God would not inspire man to do that which he commands them not to do. That is to add to or take from his word. Two, God is not the author of confusion. He would not command people or inspire people to create other words. And as many as there are today, it's confusing. God is not the author of confusion. Witness number three, God is one. The Godhead is one. Jesus Christ is God. Repentance is necessary for salvation. 
we are saved by the power of God through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Sound doctrine cancels out these other versions. Sound doctrine can only be found in the King James Bible that has not been changed. It is not the messages that Jesus Christ commands that we keep. It is His words. He received a commandment what He should say and what He should speak from the Father. The Father told Moses when he was ready to make the tabernacle, he told him to be sure he makes everything according to what was shown him in the mount. If his tabernacle is that important to him, can you imagine his word, which is Jesus Christ, the living word of God? We serve a God that is a God of detail, a God of order, a holy and a righteous God, a just God. And every deed that we do in the body will get a recompense of reward. God bless you.